today, after the girls were with us at Mass, we gave them tours of the house. Then we sat in small groups and talked. They told us what they saw. And then we just talked about where we're from, the kinds of foods we like, that kind of thing. Just, you know, so they could get some sense of us as humans, not just sisters. We had these panels where we had interesting facts about sisters on whiteboards, and then they had to guess which sister this fact belonged to. After we did that, they submitted about 50 questions. We picked about 10, and we answered them. There were three sisters on each panel. The Oblate Sisters, founded by Mother Mary Lyon in 1829, is truly a miracle in and of itself. Mother Lyon established the community a year after she opened St. Francis Academy in 1828. The Ablay Sisters have truly been in service to the people of God, and we serve primarily in the area of education, although we have some sisters in parish ministry. I believe Mother Lying in her day read the signs of the times, and we today continue to do that. I felt like I, I belonged here because I see some of the people who are from my country and I'm able to talk to them with my language. It's like a really an amazing thing to see how much like things have changed over the years and that we're able to have colored sisters who, will, who share their story as being colored and are proud of it. And they can like see themselves here without being like discriminated for any reason. They're open to everyone, and it's not just about being one sister. I like the sister I, I had for today, Sister Trinita. She was Cuban. She told me that she had a choice of marrying a guy she actually liked or becoming a nun. Something was calling her, and she knew that she had to choose, and she chose God. Yeah, I found that very interesting. I actually put myself in that position, like imagining. I also put in my interest um, that I would actually like to become a nun too. I really want to ded dedicate my life to, to Jesus. I want to learn more about Him and see how a nun life actually is. One of the pluses of today's event is that young girls uh, at this age uh, are getting an idea of really what a religious woman is committed to in this day and time. You know, and I really believe that. And uh, you know, I, when I entered back 40 some years ago, I can't tell you that I was gonna be here 40 some years later. And I sometimes look at myself and think, wow. It's that whole sense of just trying to live out God's calling in your life. God didn't just pluck us up, put us in the convent, and everything was hunky-dory. No, that's not the way it works. You live each day as it comes and you live through the grace of God.